Welcome to the Tokyo Disneyland Review. I am EdLTK424 and I will show you how was our day at Tokyo Disneyland. Please be aware that as for Disney theme parks in Japan, there are two. One is Tokyo Disneyland and the other one is Tokyo Disney Sea. In this video, we will be checking out Tokyo Disneyland. Dear hobbits, witches, wizards, muggles, Sith and Jedi lords alike, behold the index of this video if you need to skip right away to one section in particular. Tempus Fujit and we all hate clickbait videos, right? In order to buy the tickets, head over to Tokyo Disney Resort's website. Check out the link in the description of this video. This is what the website looks like. You can find a lot of information about the park from schedules, shops, restaurants, calendar of events, routes on how to get there, and a lot of information if you have special physical or mental needs. On the reservation and tickets page, you choose the days of your visit, number of days that you'll be entering the park, delivery type, which print at home is the easiest, type of your ticket, either one day regular, senior, birthday day sign, after six, which is cheaper and less time, you choose the park, Disneyland or Disney Sea, number of tickets, divided by age group, and from there you register and pay. Tokyo Disneyland is located in a city called Urayasu in Chiba Prefecture. The station is called Maihama and it takes 16 minutes to get there from Tokyo Station. Once you get there, take the south exit and it's a short walk to the park entrance, 600 meters or less than half a mile. Before the entrance, there is a security check. Do you love long lines and just consuming oxygen? Do you like being with thousands of people all around you? Do you seek holding your pee while waiting in line for the bathroom? According to a publication by the Theme Entertainment Association, Tokyo Disneyland reported an attendance of 16.6 million visitors in 2017. Both Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea are located in an area with a metropolitan population of 30 million residents, all with easy train access to the park. No wonder it gets so crowded, especially on holidays and weekends. So be sure to avoid those. As long as you get there before the park opens, you should be able to get a bang for your buck or more appropriately, a bang for your yen. As previously mentioned, Tokyo Disneyland is located in Urayasu City of Chiba Prefecture, exactly at the tongue of Chiba-kun. The hot season starts at the end of June until mid-September with average daily high temperatures above 26 degrees Celsius or 79 degrees Fahrenheit. The cool season starts at the beginning of December until the third week of March with average daily high temperatures below 13 degrees Celsius or 56 degrees Fahrenheit. It's actually better if you go on a day with bad weather of low temperatures, snowfall or rain. Just be sure to go with appropriate clothing, shoes, umbrellas or raincoats accordingly. The attraction section is the most important part of this video. The first thing that you want to do is go to the attraction that you want to ride the most and that has the fast pass option. A fast pass allows you to skip long lines thus saving time. You can scan your park ticket barcode into the FastPass machine and it will print out a ticket with a window of time of 60 minutes. It is within this window of time that you can go to the attraction and straight to the FastPass queue line, skipping the regular line where you would have to wait a lot. Once you get a FastPass, you won't be able to get another FastPass for approximately 2 hours. In that time, you can go to other rides wherever you want. Just be sure, for the love of Minnie and Mickey, to get back within the allotted time frame. From 9am until we left the park 12 hours later at 9pm, we were able to go to 17 attractions. The park has approximately 48 attractions. It is obvious that you won't be able to cover all of them in just one day. Just have in mind which are the attractions that you want to ride and go with the flow of your day. You can plan all you want, but because the weather and the crowds are different from day to day, it's almost impossible to carry it all out according to your keikaku. The worst attractions were Goofy's Pain and Playhouse, Peter Pan's Flight, Snow White's Adventures, and Pinocchio's Daring Journey. All attractions are somewhat short, but these were very short and underwhelming. If you have to wait for more than 20 minutes, just skip these attractions. News flash for you, Tokyo Disneyland is in Japan, where the majority of people speak Japanese. All of the attractions' dialogues are in Japanese, but don't let this bother you. You can still have all the fun in the park, just take into consideration especially for two shows. Stitch Encounter and Mickey's Filar Magic. 
Even if you understand the dialogues, Mickey's Feel Our Magic is pretty damn awesome. For the shops, have your cash or cards ready for glorious shopping. Major debit and credit cards are accepted. If you spot something that you want, better buy it ASAP. Stock might run out and then you'll be crying on Captain Garfield's shoulder. This is the second most important part of the video, food options. First of all, you can bring your own snacks either made by yourself or bought at a convenience store aka Combini. You can also bring water bottles which you can refill at several water fountains and there are also soft drink vending machines all around the park. Here you can check out our messy table in front of Captain Hook's galley. The popcorn is delicious. They have different flavored popcorn kiosks all around and they sell you these cool popcorn buckets of different themes. They are a little bit expensive at 2,300 yen which would be like $23 but they are a cool souvenir and you can refill your popcorn bucket at any popcorn kiosk for 500 yen. We also tried the soft salami pizza set at the Pangalactic Pizza Port in the Tomorrowland area. What can I say? It's pizza, it's edible, but don't expect Seirinkan's pizza. The prices on these restaurants are not as expensive as in the parks in the USA, but they all share the same excellent lame quality.
Now you see why we brought our delicious Lembas quesadillas. Mother friggin' parades. Check the people waiting on the right side of the road. They were waiting since 9 a.m. and the first parade started at 3 p.m. Be sure to visit Disney's website for parades and fireworks schedules. Also, some of the roads and shortcuts are closed during the parades, so be careful with those. Good old Scrooge, um, sorry, I meant uh, Mickey. He doesn't have any sweet Wi-Fi for you, so buy a portable hotspot somewhere else or prepare to go into the dark ages. The most important thing is to take some pictures and capture some videos, but do remember to be present and enjoy the moment. Thanks for watching! Thanks!